everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel my name is Juliana and I'm the fiance of someone in the Air Force. He is currently at training right now and right now we are on week four but um, as you can see I'm really bad at posting videos but I am trying my best so I'm going to be covering week two in this video and then posting another video about week three. But um, I'm going to try to get better and actually film week four, like at the end of week four this time. But we'll see. Anyways. Okay, so we're going to just hop right into it. So this week was very hard for me. I was really sad. I still hadn't heard from him. I hadn't gotten a letter. And a lot of people on the like Facebook page were like, I finally got a letter. And like, oh, it's so good to hear from them. And I'm like, where is my letter? I'm like, mailman, I'm about to fight you. But um, I got just really sad and I was like, he must be dead because that's the only answer, right? So at the end of week two, I got two letters from him. I was just freaking out for no reason. I mean, I thought there was a reason, but you know, but it got all better after I got my letters. His letters were really positive. He said he's having a really good time. He's making friends and that he cannot wait for us to come down for his graduation. Um, he was talking about how there was an airman in his flight who's really struggling and he like reached out to him and he was helping him and like kind of being, being a wingman to him, which I was like, that is just his heart. And just to be like so kind and caring and like looking out for those who are really struggling. I'm trying to think what else he said in his letters. Um, he said that he misses us and he like knew that my sister had a diving meet coming up. So he like wished her good luck and he asked how everyone was doing, which was super sweet of him. In his letter, he did tell me that they got their first patio break, which he really enjoyed. So that's what he's been up to. So I'm really glad that he's just having a positive experience because I know there are lots of other wingmen who are really struggling so I'll keep praying for all of them so I did send him one of those like questionnaires off of the like wing moms page so I just wanted to read some of his like responses to you guys so when he like answered these questions he said it was week two and on the first night he got there he went to bed at 3 a.m and he only slept for two hours which I was like that's not enough sleep um, he says he doesn't like the weather there. He says that there are no bunks, which I don't know if that means he's in Alcatraz or Disneyland. I haven't looked into the details of that, but I want to find out. Um, he says that the bed is not made so tight that a quarter hits the ceiling. I've never heard of that, but that sounds pretty funny. Um, he says the beds there are soft, which... <laughs> I don't know. I've like stayed at camps where it's like just like a mat, like a pad, like kind of like a gymnastic pad. So it's not really comfy, but I'm glad he likes it. Um, there are 48 other airmen in his room. Well, um, he says the food is bearable, which uh, from the videos I've seen here on, on YouTube, some of them say they love the food and it's really good. And others are like, it's just nutrition. Um, he says that the MTIs are loud, but then in parentheses you put kinda, so I don't really know what that means. Um, on a scale from one to 10, how is the flight working together? He put a seven, which I think is pretty awesome for them just being there for like two-ish weeks. Um, he says he's staying out of trouble. He says he's done less than a hundred push-ups. Um, <laughs> this one I thought was funny. He said, uh, the question is, how did it feel when you got your hair buzzed off? And he said, like, someone was peeling off a bald cap, which I don't think he's ever worn a bald cap, but I just felt that his reaction was cute. Um, he has 15 minutes to shower. The water is lukewarm, which then he put LOL in parentheses because he knows that I like my showers like boiling, like melt your skin off. But uh, that sounds not like a lot of fun. Um on his scale from 1 to 10 about how he feels about BMT, he put an 8. So I'm glad that he's enjoying it and he feels like he made the right decision. Um, he says marching is a way to get from point A to point B. Um, so then these are like, the next few questions are like fill in the blank. So it's the most bizarre rule is it's not okay. Um, I, there's no context to that. 
the craziest thing that someone has gotten yelled at for was untied shoes. Um, and what advice would you give someone thinking about joining the Air Force? He says, learn about the way to make a bed with a clipboard before you leave. Uh, and then he wrote, I love you, which is kind of cute. So th those are his responses, which I feel like the question are good because he can just circle and like write quick notes and like send it back instead of having to like write out on a piece of paper. And I've also started including an extra envelope with like a stamp and filled out already so he can just fill out the questionnaire and send it. So now I'm going to go into what they probably went through this on week two. So it says that they've done Air Force history. Um, they get airman's time. I don't really know what that means, but they learn things during that. Um, let me scroll. Sorry. Um, they got their patio break, which he did tell me in his letter. Um, they did more weapons training and breakdown. They got career guidance and a DNA one progress check. So those are just a few of the things that they probably experienced. I will make sure to link down below um, the Watt 2 questionnaire and the Air Force Wing Moms page and also like the list that I'm reading from about what they're doing during this week. Um, there's nothing really else like to go through. I'm just pushing through, I'm counting down the days but I know it'll come sooner than I think it is. <laughs> Just gotta stay really positive. Thank you all so much for watching. I will get better at posting videos and recording and keeping you guys updated. I just get really, really busy. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below and to subscribe and like so you can see when I post. Um, I will also just link any of the resources that I've been using down below for you guys because I've been like searching through videos and not a lot of them include the resources or like the wing moms page. So I just want to be able to like help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day.